What's up, guys? Once again, it is MP4Podcast.com bringing you guys some of the most interesting video game news that you guys really do need to know about. Now, Respawn has just announced that Titanfall will be 6v6. That's six players versus another six players, kind of like red versus blue. Now, a lot of people do seem to be somewhat upset about this information that they wanted a higher player count. However, I have to say that the team who is designing this game, Titanfall, is probably one of the best first-person shooters, uh, teams, magicians, whatever you want to call these guys. They are the masters at first-person shooters. There are other masters and other people that own black belts in first-person shooters, such as John Carmack and the people over at Epic Studios. However, Respawn is really the original Affinity Ward. And people will tell you that the very first COD, Call of Duty games that came out, the multiplayer was amazing. Call of Duty 1, Call of Duty 2. Now, Call of Duty 3, that was not made by Infinity Ward, which is actually now the respawn. The new Infinity Ward that made Modern Warfare 3 and Ghost is a different studio altogether. There's only two people that stayed with the new Infinity Ward. Um, in Modern Warfare, um, or people call it COD 4, really was one of the greatest first-person shooters at that time. It may in some ways still be. Now I can tell you that game was not overpowered by kill streaks. I can tell you as somebody who has played Ghost, Ghost does seem to be somewhat ridiculous with chem strikes. Now I'm pretty sure maybe some people like the chem strikes and some people are really good. I'm not the best Call of Duty player in the world, but it doesn't, I don't get uh, mad when I die from a chem, chem strike. What I get mad at is that when you get a chem strike, you can't see. It just seems that Call of Duty has been trying to up itself with every new title. And it seems that in some ways they did some things right with Ghost and they did some other things wrong with Ghost. So I think it's what Titanfall really wants to get back at is fast gameplay. Uh, they don't want to overdo the kill streaks and so on. And they want to get that core essence of being a really fun first person shooter. You can have all the kill streaks you want, all the uh, uh, attachments, all the mumbo jumbo, but really at the end of the day, that is not the first person shooter. If you get a sentry gun and you leave in the window, you're really not doing anything. That sentry gun is just doing the work for you. Okay? Or if you get an airstrike or you get dogs or whatever, that's just more stuff that gets added into the game. And yeah, it's a lot of fun getting those extra kills. However, you're not really doing anything after that point. But I do want to say yes, people who do get those kill streaks are very talented. People like Miss 500 Watts, Woody's Gamertag, okay, uh, SS Sniper Wolf, uh, Thunder. All these people are very talented and very skilled at Call of Duty. However, these additional kills just seem to be aggravating people. And I kind of feel like in Modern Warfare, the, fir the very first reboot of the Call of Duty series to some degree was a brush uh, uh, a breath of fresh air where okay you got your kill streak it was an air strike it went up ba 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 bada boom bada bang and then you were back to doing what you did best just playing the game and I think that's where respawn wants to get they want to get back to is the roots of Call of Duty the fun factor so they want to get back to that fun factor add in the mirror's edge, you know, running across walls and so on, and then put some extra icing on the cake with the mechs. Now, if you had more players in Titanfall, you know, you could have more people shooting at the mechs also while they're running across, running running down the street and so. And maybe they want to tone that down just a little bit because, remember, these mechs can be taken out. They're not like kill streaks where you get like an uh, 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 you know an air bomb or or you get dogs in Call of Duty. There's really not too much you can do. Maybe you can go inside or maybe you can shoot a dog in Call of Duty and whatever. Most of the time you're going to be taken out, but you do have a fair chance of taking out a mech in Titanfall. So they're trying to uh, balance this you know 
this type of new gameplay. And I have to say, I'm not, I'm not really that upset about it because I know who these guys are. You know, if it, if it is a little bit boring, they can probably patch in and add in seven v seven. So we'll see how that go, this goes. But I will say this: Respawn is probably one of the most talented teams in video games today. What happened with them with Activision after Modern Warfare 2 was really crazy. And so the original Infinity Ward created Respawn. And when all, everybody left Infinity Ward, there were only two people who stayed with the original uh, Infinity Ward. And those two people, I think uh, Bondahar or the other guy's name, I can't remember. They stayed with Infinity Ward, and they stayed on for Modern Warfare 3, and they stayed on for Ghost. So we'll see how it is. And remember, Titanfall, I think, will be a, a brush of fresh air. Now, I quickly do want to say that I do believe, in my own personal opinion, that, yeah, it would be better if Titanfall was on the PlayStation 4, just because it would make the IP a a address, uh, what am I saying, IP address, I'm saying, the IP a much more popular title. Um, I'm going to be playing Titanfall when it comes out on Xbox One. Um, I just really wish it was on the PlayStation 4, even if I'm getting the, the Xbox One. You know, it's, there's a reason why Call of Duty is so big. It's because it's on every platform. It's on the PC. I, sometimes it comes out for Mac. You know, Xbox 360, PS3... Uh, PS4, Xbox One, Wii U, you name it. Card is on everything. And I think if Titanfall came out on more platforms, maybe we could kind of sizzle down that Call of Duty uh, madness a little bit. But once again, guys, this has been MP4Podcast.com. Sign out. You have yourself an awesome day. Later, guys. Bye.